The promenade looting has begun. Uh, you can see what's going on over here. This is a foot action. We're going to take a walk down that way. I'm going to keep a, a close distance uh, here. But you got people that are going inside. And from what it looks like, you've got skirmishes going on in all kinds of different places throughout Santa Monica. And police have, for uh, better or worse, abandoned this area. So, uh, again, people going inside of a foot action here at least and then they are running towards their cars. So I'm going to swing around and I'm going to show you what that looks like. You see that over there? That's where cars are just dropping people off and people are getting out of their cars and they are running towards this foot action uh, and they are grabbing everything they can and then they are running towards their cars and taking off. All this is happening before uh, cops can even respond. There are L.A. Uh, police department uh, officials as well as the sheriff officials uh, on the other side side. They have been skirmishing with uh, some agitators. Brian, there are really three groups of different people uh, that have been out here. There have been the protesters that we saw peacefully uh, demonstrating over by the pier earlier today. Had no idea this was going on. Uh, then you've got people like this who they run very quickly when they see a police officer, but they run very quickly when they see an open store that hasn't been hit, uh, like we're seeing here at Foot Action. And then there are the agitators. There are a very small group of people that are carrying around riot shields. They are dressed for a fight and they are engaging uh, with police. So uh, they are throwing things. We've seen them throw uh, rocks. We've seen them throw bottles and the police have to respond. Then they also have fires that are being put, uh, that are going off in all different parts of Santa Monica right now. At some point it wouldn't be a stretch to see a fire break out in this foot action here. Uh, and it's really sad because you see that there is uh, some plywood outside of that foot action. Some of these other places uh, have plywood up, but the people who run a lot of these shops have fallen back from this area in Santa Monica. Now, uh, just to show you where police are, this looting is happening this close to a police officer. There are police officers right down there. And this is foot action right now. And again, it's almost like block by block, a cat and mouse game of uh, thieves that are going in, stealing things. Protesters in different parts of the city that are demonstrating, uh, that have no idea that this is going on, and then people that are looking to set fire to police cars, squad cars, and to actively engage. And Brian, everybody is wearing a mask. Everybody uh, seems to have a backpack, so it's very difficult. Uh, hold on real fast. It seems as though we've got some action here. So you hear the sirens. Hey, Gotti, let me just tell our happens. viewers. If we see, uh, th that might mean a wave of police officers coming. Let me just point out to our viewers, especially those not familiar with Southern California, Third Street Promenade is everything in Santa Monica for retailing and social life. The street is full. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll follow that with our camera. Street is full of uh, street musicians, uh, buskers, musicians, any given night. Uh, of course, the weather is usually beautiful. Every famous brand name in retailing in our country and around the world can be found on the can be found on the Third Street Promenade. And the scramble you just saw, Brian, that was because of those two officers that came over here and the sound of a siren. And as quickly as they came in, they have disappeared. And you see that going on in different stores all throughout here. Foot action is the first one that we've seen on the promise promenade uh, proper uh, that has been hit and people are going in. And, and you know what? They all ran. And now we've actually got some people that are uh, that are going back in. Somebody just took in a, uh, a trash can to put uh, to put merchandise in and then walk out with. And again, this is all happening. So I'll show you right here. This guy can't even carry all the boxes. And you've got another guy coming here. And then look at this. As we pan out over here, you've got an officer down there. And it seems like a single solitary officer. He is unable to 
to do anything. And, and Brian, I don't know if, if uh, I was able to describe this earlier, but uh, this one is a promenade. So this is a pedestrian area. Uh, down there, there is an area where people were driving up and they were grabbing things and they were putting it inside of their cars and police had to actually direct out traffic. Uh, they were directing traffic well, knowing perfectly well that these cars were filled with uh, with loot. There's something happening over here. We're just going to take a walk over here. And again, you're going to see if we drop the camera, uh, it's because we, we want to kind of keep a low profile. We've actually got the sheriff's department that's coming. Uh, you've got some SWAT officers that are going to come this way. And then you're going to have... Okay, so this is the first time that we've actually seen uh, officers making their way. Uh, it appears as though they've gotten some uh, reinforcements. But even still, down this way, there are some people that are... They're acting extremely bravely. Uh, they, they, they're not moving. Uh, so there is going to be a clash here. We're going to take a step over here, and we're going to allow this to, uh, to transpire. Just make sure that we clearly identify ourselves. And then you're going to see these officers engage with this group. And then actually, you've got somebody that's sneaking out of foot action right now. And they're running. But again, this is this is the cat and mouse game, and it's really just to clear these areas. Uh, there are no arrests that we're seeing being made. The, uh, the situation is so chaotic uh, that it's really just about a tactical position. We'll see if there's a we'll see if there we'll see if there there are some arrests that might be made right here. They're they're telling people to uh, they're telling people to get down, and we'll see if they're able to keep them here. But it's going to take quite a bit of force because you've got a you've got a bigger crowd that's coming up and then you've got two officers coming over here and then you've got some less than lethal uh, less than lethal ammunition and then there's people running people running in every direction here we go watch it watch it box watch it good all right here we go everything's good we're good we're good we're good so this is going we're gonna take a We've got a few people, so it looks like they're actually making a rest right now. I'm going to show you this. We're kind of staying in a group. We've got people being handcuffed over here, so we've got about a dozen officers that were able to move in very quickly, and it seems like they are making arrests. There were people that were running in all different directions, and so this is that, that cat and mouse game. And we actually saw uh, a few vans that were coming down here from the uh, the sheriff's department, and those vans are going to be loading people up very quickly and, and taking them to jail. So this is the first time we've actually seen arrests all night. This may be what we see uh, for the rest of the night because a lot of these people have come uh, looking to loot, and it doesn't look like that's going to stop anytime soon because before this, it appeared as though they were doing that with impunity, going from store to store and taking every they can. So again, this is the first time that we've seen uh, officers come in and be able to make arrests. It seems as though uh, the crowds here are pretty small, but I'm just going to let some of this play out here. We've got individuals being handcuffed. And I would say probably uh, maybe a, a tenth of the people that we saw go inside, maybe even less than that, uh, are now appear to be in some sort of custody. And this appears to be uh, all kinds of different officers from different jurisdictions. So you've got Santa Monica police, uh, you've got the sheriff's department, you've got some tactical officers, uh, and you've got you've got some people saying that they weren't looting. Yeah, we're gonna uh, talk with this officer. Yeah. Yeah. If you Where do you need us? Fine, just please step over. Sure. Thank Absolutely. You. So we're we're clearing over to the side here just to make sure we're. Gotti, thank you. Um, uh, again, from what the. The only reason I would break away is uh, the reason we're going to have to break away, and that is that.